Welcome back to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Following the release of The Rise of Skywalker, Star Wars fans were introduced to and fell in love with a small statured creature by the name of Babu Frick. Since he's a character that Danny and I now adore, let's talk about Babu Frick and everything we know about him. Babu Frick was an Ancelin male who lived during the war between the First Order and the Resistance, working as a droid smith among the smuggling gang known as the Spice Runners of Kajimi. Babu could reprogram or modify almost any droid regardless of its security measures, which was a very valuable skill to have. Babu's home world was Kajimi, which was a frigid, mountainous planet located in the Bricks sector of the galaxy's mid-rim. Kajimi was also the home world of Zori Bliss, leader of the Spice Runners of Kajimi, and Babu had worked for Zori Bliss's crew for some time prior to the events of The Rise of Skywalker. During The Rise of Skywalker, Rey, Finn, Chewbacca, BB-8, C-3PO, and Poe Dameron recovered a Sith dagger. The dagger was inscribed with coordinates leading to the location of a Sith Wayfinder belonging to Darth Sidious. The crew needed the Sith Wayfinder as it would lead to the planet Exegol, the hidden world of the Sith and where Darth Sidious had been hiding, which was located located in the unknown regions. Without any sort of flight data or methods of navigation, traveling to and from the unknown regions was extremely difficult to manually navigate. Wayfinders, once activated, had the ability to connect to technology and flight systems as the method of navigation, thus providing the crew with the necessary flight plans to reach Exegol. But the coordinates to the Sith Wayfinder that were inscribed on the dagger were written in the Sith language, which only C-3PO could read. While C-3PO was able to translate the Sith inscriptions on the dagger, his programming prevented him from revealing the translation to anyone as a mandate had been passed by the Senate, possibly at the request of Emperor Palpatine, which prohibited individuals or droids from speaking in Sith. Following the recommendations of Poe, the group then went to Kajimi to find Babu Frick, hoping that Babu could retrieve the coordinates inscribed on the Sith dagger in C-3PO's memory banks. And from there, Star Wars fans were introduced to one of the most adorable, comical, and ridiculous characters in the Star Wars universe. Babu Frick was able to bypass C-3PO's programming restrictions, which would allow C-3PO to speak the translation, although it would result in his entire memory being erased. Aware that the procedure would erase his memory, C-3PO decided to undergo the procedure to help the crew complete their mission. Babu tinkered with C-3PO's main processing unit in order to locate the text of the inscription and overrode the programming, preventing C-3PO from speaking the translation. Because of this, C-3PO was able to inform Rey and the crew that the Sith Wayfinder could be found on Kef Burr, which was the ocean moon of Endor, where the second Death Star had crashed following the ending of Return of the Jedi. Upon the departure of the Resistance fighters, Babu Frick contacted a group of First Order stormtrooper defectors who were living on Kef Burr and led by Janna. Babu hoped that Janna and the rest of the stormtrooper defectors would be able to aid Rey and company on their quest to find the Sith Wayfinder to ultimately locate the hidden world where Emperor Palpatine had been plotting from. Later in the film, the Emperor eventually gave the order to use one of his Zeistan class Star Destroyers to destroy Kajimi. Both Babu Frick and Zori Bliss escaped before the destruction of Kajimi, however, and were able to join the Allied fleet during the Battle of Exegol against the Sith Eternal Fleet. Zori and Babu even destroyed one of the Zeistan class Star Destroyers during the battle and later celebrated the defeat of the Emperor in the Final Order on the planet Ajan Kloss with the rest of the Freedom Fighters. Babu Frick was one of mine and Danny's favorite aspects of The Rise of Skywalker. That small fellow was beyond adorable, was super funny, and was just all around awesome. He was voiced by British actress Shirley Henderson, who portrayed Moaning Myrtle in the Harry Potter movies, and she did such a fabulous job. And that's everything we know about Babu Frick at this time. Tell me you didn't love every moment of on-screen time with our boy, Babu Frick. What did you guys think about Babu Frick? Did you like his addition in The Rise of Skywalker? Do you hope we get to see Babu Frick again in a future Star Wars on-screen project or maybe in a comic or a novel? Let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Follow Dan's On Fandoms on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr, all at Dan's On Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.